morning. I'm in the beautiful city of San Antonio, Texas, and today I decided to visit a restaurant called Two Brothers Barbecue Market, or Two Bros. They specialize in barbecue, and they are known for their cheese chop, which is mac and cheese with their famous brisket, you know, all mixed up, and also the brisket and the ribs. Now, this place opened up in 2009, and is one of the top five places here to eat in San Antonio when it comes to barbecue, so it is a must if you are in the area. This place is open from Monday through Sunday, 10.30 a.m. to 9 p.m., I believe, and they're always cooking brisket, they're always cooking ribs, so you're always gonna find food here, and sometimes when there's a lot of people, especially on the weekends, they run out of food. If you come in the weekends, make sure you come early. I decided to come early in the morning. That way I can uh, see all the process of the food. So I'm going to show you guys the pit room and I'm going to show you the dining room. Now you can eat outside or you can eat inside. I recommend for you guys to eat outside because it is a beautiful place. It is in the outskirts of uh, San Antonio. It is up north, so you're going to have to drive. It's easy to find. Put it in the GPS and that's it. Now, another thing, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the first video of many that I'm gonna do here in San Antonio. I'm gonna be showing you guys local barbecue places. And that being said, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna check it out, and let's go see what's for chow. So we got here Darian, he is the pit master and he's gonna talk about the, the process and the food. So we come in at five in the morning to get things going and started. First thing we do is get the fires up and going. As you can see here, we've already got a beautiful fire going. And as we get everything going, first thing we do is we kind of get everything going for the day. Make sure we get our ribs, our chicken, our turkey, all that taken care of. By the time we're usually done with that, it's around 8.30, 9 o'clock, and that's when we'll start dropping briskets. And we just kind of do a normal trim with the briskets, cut off the fat cap, trim them up real good, then we'll drop them all. And throughout the day, we'll actually rotate them because you can obviously see where the hot spot is versus where it cools down. And this is our main pit. She's going almost 24-7. It takes our briskets about 18 hours to smoke. So these will be on all day, most of the night. And the crew that works here, they love doing this thing. They work really hard to try to provide the best product that they can give. And how was the food? Oh, I'm, I'm about to get it right now, but I think I'm loving it too. Can I have a job here? Of course, yeah, I'll put you to work, <laughs> no problem. Well, thank you, sir, appreciate it. And I'm gonna, uh, I wanna eat. All right, so I'm ready to order. Uh, what are you gonna give me, ma'am? We have the start a quarter pound, third half, two thirds, three quarters, or a pound. Ribs are also in the half rack and full rack. Uh, we have three sauces, uh, sweet, tangy, and shiner. The shiner is made with shiner block and molasses, kind of has a coffee base. We have sandwiches. We have one called the Big Row. Huge. Uh, we have a cheesy chop. Comes in a pint container. It's gonna be like half macaroni on one side, half chopped brisket on the other. Uh, what would you like? Do you think you want some meats and sides? Or like sandwiches, chips? You know what surprised me, man, but I want the cheese chop. Okay, we can do that. We can hook you up. No problem. Now, Masani's gonna make the cheesy chop. Put the macaroni on one side. And then we put the top beef in. That uh, looks really good, ma'am. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it tastes even better than it looks. Put a little more mac in there. There we go. And this is our classic cheesy chop. Now, this is the famous tree. They told me it's called Papa Wood. Papa Wood. And it's here. He's part of the crew. Yes, he is alive and kicking. Now, this is the brisket. Uh, it looks really, really good. They're gonna do some chopping right now. I split the difference between the lean and the moist. That way guests can really be able to get whether they want some lean or some moist brisket. Alright guys, so you guys saw the process back there. You guys saw the pit. You guys saw the kitchen. It is a small kitchen because everything is cooked in the pit. I got a little bit of everything. Let's try it out. I'm gonna start with the with the turkey. And again, it's simple. It is turkey. Cook it in the pit. I'm gonna get a small piece right now. Let's get some chow. Mm. 
it is really good it is moist it's not dry honestly i don't even know what they put back there but it has a lot of flavor let's uh move on to the to the pork it's simple it is pork chopped pork let's try it out pretty good lots of flavor i'm trying to decipher what is what is it that they put in the pork but i can taste the pepper i can taste the salt it's really moist you can see the fat down there but let's move on to the to the sausage again it's simple but one thing about barbecue is that if you cannot cook a sausage do not consider yourself a barbecue restaurant mm. juicy i'm gonna move on to the to the ribs now with this you gotta get it with your hand slowly cook Now, one thing that I noticed about the ribs is that apart from being juicy and everything, they have uh, kind of like a sweet flavor on it. I want to say honey, but uh, they're really good. It is the first time that I uh, that I try or that I taste that on some pork ribs. Usually, it's a classic, you know, the classic rub or the classic seasoning, but this one they have kind of like a sweet aftertaste. I want to say it's honey, but uh, I'm going to move on to the brisket. And again, the brisket, you can see all the fat in there, all the juices. Get some chow. Mm. The brisket, delicious. One thing that I did notice is that it's a little bit salty, but to me it's perfect. I'm a salty guy. The, the crust that, that builds on top of the brisket, it has a lot of flavor. The fat layer on the, on, the, on the bottom, it is delicious, it is moist. I mean, it can't get better than this. Uh, I highly recommend the brisket if you come here. Now, let's move on to the, to the cheesy chop. Now, the cheesy chop, again, it is uh, mac and cheese, the famous mac and cheese with the chopped brisket. Let's get some chow. I did notice the smoky flavor on the brisket. Maybe because it's chopped, they get to mix everything when they chop it. The mac and cheese, it is cheesy. I mean, it's delicious. You gotta try it out if you come here to uh, Two Brothers or Two Bros. All right guys, so that was it for uh, the Two Bros or Two Brothers. I highly recommend it. If you guys uh, happen to be in San Antonio, passing by or visiting, you guys need to come to this restaurant and eat the food. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More videos in the making. This is day one in San Antonio and there's more videos coming up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome customer service. Come to Two Bros. The food is delicious. They did an amazing job. Good job, guys. Uh, there's Papa Tree. Uh, come to this place. The food delicious. Thank you, guys. Thank you.